All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'm excited to get into this one. On our way to the big city. Let's see if we can go through this fork. We can't. Okay. On our way to the big city to hopefully get our, or not not get, but you know, buy back the shell that the loan shark took for us due to tax evasion. So let's go see if we can get it. Okay, well, no enemies in here. Oh, the frame issues. She's out again, though. Alright, we got somebody over here. Can talk to this guy. Um, oh, he's alive, okay. Okay, that's the city. New Carstinia. If I'm saying that right. They're asleep. All right. Well, we will let them sleep. Let's go to the big city. So this is where the lone shark said he was taking our shell. So we need to find him. And explore the city and see what it has to offer us. Let's talk to this person. Nice to see so nice to see a fresh fish in town. Ah, I want to say fish. Fresh face in town. That alliteration, man. And right before trash day, too. What's trash day? Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know what trash day is. I couldn't spoil the surprise for you now. You'll know soon enough. Okay, trash day. What's going on with these guys? Let's listen. And that is the long, complex history of Slack Tide's trade route with New Carcinia. Wow, I'm so glad I stuck around to learn all that lore. Thanks, Uncle Laddie. We didn't get to learn any of it. Can we go in here? What is this place? We can't. Let's keep talking to these people. This place is huge. Ha ha ha. Enamored with the sight of our fair city? I can honestly say I've never seen anything like it. You should go and explore. But I'd say topside if I were you. The seabed can host some pretty sketchy characters. I kind of want to go see the seabed now. Welcome to New Carcinia, a beacon of civilization amongst the harsh violence of the sands between. A testament to the prevailing power of, indust of industry, the city of dreams, the big crab apple, and the defining pillar of the trash economy which supports all of the crust whatever society. How did I get into this conversation? My name you ask? Tortellini? Tortellini? The town greeter, at your service. I'm beyond excited to greet two new visitors in a single day. Is that a lot? Not at all, we usually get 20 or 30. Then why? Wait, did you say two? Was the other one a shark carrying the coolest shell you've ever seen? Oh, a friend of yours? Not at all. I've got to kick that guy's butt and get my shell back. Oh, a sworn enemy. Then... And this day gets more exciting by the minute. I've got to catch him before he sells my shell to who knows who. Can you tell me where he went? Not at all. I greeted him with gusto and then didn't give him a second thought. What sort of town greeter would I be if I looked behind me to keep tabs on those I've already greeted, rather than facing forward to greet those yet to come? Okay, okay, okay. Where would someone trying to sell a shell go, then? Like if they were exactly four places. They might have tried to sell it to Shellfish Desires, the luxury goods store. If it's more of an antique shell, they may, they may have gone to check if the museum curator might purchase it. Failing those, they might have visited bottom feeders, the dive bar, and the lower crust to try to pass it off to some piece of gutter trash. And finally, they could have gone to the black... To the back alley blacksmith to sell it for scrap. That's probably where they went. Okay, thank you so much. I'll check out those places. Cod speed, small fry. Would that... Would that I could give you... <clears throat> what? Would that I could give you more of a tour? Okay. But my work is never done, whilst there remain travelers left ungreeted. 
Ooh, what a boring job that would be. Just degree people coming into the city. I would not be a fan. Alright, well maybe we can purchase like shells and stuff. Around here. What is this guy gonna talk to me? Well hey there, long time no see, fellow hustler. You're that guy from the bridge. Sure am. First the name. Don't erode it, you know? You seem pretty happy. Didn't you just lose all your money? Haha, <laughs> uh, of course not, pal. Not even close. A shrewd investor never puts all his shells in one. I mean, puts all his butts in one shell, you know? And that's my goal in life. I get butts into shells. Specifically my butt. And specifically the fanciest, flashiest, most impressive shell I possibly can. You feel me? Not really. I'm a shell trader, kid. That's a her- That's a- <clears throat> That's a hermit's lot in life. Always looking to upgrade, swap out the old shell for a better one. If you're smart, you'll get into the business too. A whole ocean of opportunity could be passing by, passing you by, you know? He doesn't even have a cool shell though, like, let's be honest. All right, we got a snail shell up here. Let's go and activate that. I don't believe we have enough for a level up, but we can check. We don't. Okay. Alright, where's this first place at? Let's just keep wandering around. I'm sure we'll find it. Alright, is this... This kind of looks like the museum, right? Excuse me, what is this building? What well, little one? You stand before the new Carcinia Museum of Carci Carcinized History, I say. Oh, neat. Can I go in? Apologies, but the museum is currently closed to the public while we put the finishing touches on the new exhibition. Oh. Hey, I'm looking for a tall shark who stole my shell. You seen, you seen anyone like that? Hmm. Can't say I have. But if I've traveled here to fence stolen goods, I'd start in a lower crust down beneath us. Gotcha, thanks. Be careful down there, I say. Alright, how do we get down there? Maybe this? Oh yeah, this is definitely it. Alright, we gotta be careful down here, though. Oh, I saw that loot. Let's get it. Bread claw. Alright, where can I find... I right, hear blacksmith. Over here. Where is he? Is he in here? No, more down here. There he is. Enter that for the save. All right. And across from him was the place where he could potentially sell it, right? In here? Yeah. Hey there, youngin. Welcome to Bottom Feeder's finest little watering hole this side of the slurry. Hi, my name's Krill. I'm new to town, I guess. Thought I recognized a fresh face. Please, as plastic, to meet you, Krill. Name's Nemma. If you've got the money, why not stop on in for a bite? My kiddos and I would love to have you. We also offer a stowaway hiring service if you've if you're interested in such a thing. Um all right, shell. Hey, um, if it's not too much of a bother, I'm looking for a shark that took my shell. Any chance you stop by here? Fairly sure I'd remember a fellow like that swimming into my establishment. Sorry, kiddo. That's okay, haha. No worries. Uh, stowaway. You mentioned something about stowaways. What are those? Oh, I'm sure you've seen them around. That's our nickname for any sort of little fella that sticks itself to your shell. Little fella. Oh, like a barnacle. Exactly. And for the right price, and there's all sorts of them that might tag along. People pay for that? They sure do, hun. Lots of our vis visitors here are travelers just stopping by who could use a little company on the road. You ought to consider it 
if you've got a journey ahead of you, the open ocean can get mighty lonely, hon. I'll, I'll think about it. Thanks, man. Ah, oh, call me Nemma, hon. I'm not a crabby old lady just yet. All right, Nemma. We can hire stowaways. Dang. All right, hold up. A terrifying sharp piece of metal. Minus 33% attack, but increased attack speed. 33% attack, but reduced attack speed. Take no damage from falling into the abyss. Uh, we already have this one. Plus two res. Barnacles we've seen. Vitality. 50% healing effectiveness. We don't have nearly much for these. Nearly enough for these. Increase microplastic rewards. 30% shell spell damage, but we need 7 res for that. That'd be kind of nuts. 20% balance damage. Okay. Nothing we can get quite yet. But cool, we can get we can get more stowaways from this lady. Alright then, um all right, let's talk to the blacksmith. That was one of the other spots. There's another spot up top that we didn't check, but Boy there, scrap. It's a fine piece of metal in your claws there. Lots of promise. Care to make it shine with me, scrap? Uh, we can do that in a second. Have you seen my shell? I almost don't want to ask, but... Did a big jerk shark come here trying to sell a shell for scrap? It would have probably seemed crazy to you because the shell was super gorgeous and cool. Ah, he came by. Turned that shell to, to scrap soon as I could. What? Are you serious? Sure as sea foam, I am. Nay, nah, wait. You said a shark? Scrap that. My mistake. No sharks came by. Nay. Nah. What do you think I said? You almost gave me a heart attack. No need to shout, Scrap. I mean, ears work just fine. Alright, make it shine. We can do a little upgrade, I'm assuming. Make it shine, you mean my fork? This is just some piece of junk I found in my neighborhood. Hey, and what piece of junk it is? Scrap. Bring this old smith some relics he can break down. And it'll show you what that junk of yours can truly do. Sounds useful. Trade one stainless relic to improve your fork. No. Do I even have a stainless relic? I don't think I do. Unless it's like this. Oh, the, oh, stainless relic. Huh. <laughs> I just saw a key. Um, is that the only one I have, though? I mean... We don't have any other weapons, so we might as well just do it. Upgrade fork. Yes. Crow's fork upgraded to level 2, plus 5 attack. Two stainless relics now. We don't have that. Alright, well. Got a better fork, though. Alright, there was one more spot to check, and that was up top. Uh, in that little shop. They have cars down here. Pawn. Actually, this could be something. Is there somebody? Can I go in there? Huh? They run back. No, but there's a crystal. Huh? Nice. I believe we can now do an upgrade. Hey, Manta. Yeah, Coley? That guy broke our cool crystal. No way. Just walked right up and broke. <laughs> Shit. What happened to live and let live, Coley? No idea. Life really isn't what it used to be. Want to go find another cool crystal? I sure do. Can't let jerks like that ruin our chill. So true. It's probably Coley, but... Sorry, guys. It's my bad, but I need those crystals. Okay. We need to go back up top. How do we get up there? Where's the thing we climbed? I guess we could just teleport. Using the snail shell. Let's just do that. Let's 
shell a port to the upper crust. There was one more like antique shop that we have not got into yet. Probably over here, if I had to guess. We haven't been over here, have we? Um, maybe here. Welcome to Shellfish Desires, a flagship brick and mortar store of Shellfish Corp. How goes it, my visit? My visibly financially troubled friend. Is it that obvious? It is. I suppose you've come up to the upper crust for a bit of window shopping. No shame in it. Plenty of folks pause on their way through town to take a look at our luxury shelves. You've got five minutes before you pause, before your pause becomes a loiter, so enjoy, t enjoy them while they last, my friend. Have you seen my shelf? Did a big shark come into town and try to sell you a shell recently? Oh, he sure did. I told him to get stuff. We don't do trade-ins here. And even if we did, I'd never take that kind of beat-up junk he sold me. Not a clue where he went after that. Does nobody in the city pay any attention? Okay, we can buy shells though? Alright, hold up now. 12... 15,000? For a baby shoe? Another chance. Activate to receive another chance at life as long as the shell remains equipped upon death. That's wild. What's this one? Twist top. Twist the currents around you to spin a high velocity damage. So just like a bigger vortex than, than the uh, the other twist top. Made krill. I just cleaned up this mess. Can we keep it clean for 10 minutes? 25k? Decoy, abandon your shell and cause enemies to attack it instead for a brief time. These are crazy shells. <clears throat> Alright. Shell insurance. As shellfish desires, you can pay microplastics to insure any shell you've worn before. Eddie Moon snail shell. You can pick any insured shell to start with every time you respawn. Useful. Oh, snap. So if we really like a shell... It's gotta be somewhere. I just gotta find where that shark went. The city is so big. How am I ever gonna find my shell? This place is so stupid. And it's loud. Why can't everyone just leave me alone? Everywhere I turn, someone's trying to take something away from me. Or sell me some kind of... Scuttle right up, fellow citizens. It's the grand opening of the prawn shop, full of legitimate shallows made wares. We got plastics, we got metals, we got packing foam, we got garbage you ain't ever, you ain't ever, you ain't even heard of yet. What the? Is that a shell? That's my shell. Are you serious? This guy's still following me? All right, play cool. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, give that back. It was stolen from me by a jerk shark. Well, first off, that shark seems super cool and chill to me. Second of all, he uh, sells me fair and square. You want it back? You gotta buy it like everything else in the store. That's how the prawn shop works, baby. Well, how much? And uh, what can I actually pay with it? Depends what you got, pal. I've got a few microplastics, I guess, and some string. Look, that shell's really important to me. Could I work for it or something? I'll do anything. Ooh, he should not have given that guy that much leverage. He shouldn't have given that guy. And that now the, the prawn has so much leverage to just hike up the price. Anything, huh? Yeah, I guess I could probably come up with some arduous and meaningless time sinks for you to partake in and earn your shell back. For starters, why don't you scrape the barnacles off my sweaty? Wait, wait. Did you hear that? Hear what? Belay this conversation, kid. Trash Island is here. This always catches me off guard. I gotta get ready before I miss out on some prime plastics. Hey, I'm not done talking to you. Trash day. Trash day! It's trash day! Everyone get your baskets! Don't miss out!
Back off! I saw it first! Get your own trash, lump suckers! Is that thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's a message from the captain. It's got his face right on it. It's gotta be. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Pardon me. Excuse me, young lady. As new Cassinia's official historian, I'm sure I can shed some light on. My God! If I'm not mistaken, this is part of a map. A map showing the way to a most valuable treasure, I say. If someone were to find its missing pieces and decipher them, why, they'd be rich beyond their wildest dreams, I say. Rich? I like the sound of that. That treasure's as good as mine. I'll be able to afford the flash you shell in the ocean, you know? Not if I get there first. Think of all the tourists that treasure could bring to our city. Well, don't you count out us, bottom siders. You'll be eating your hat when I get that treasure and fix up my restaurant. It would appear the hunt is on, I say. The first stop on the map seems to be the forest to the north of here. May the best, Crab! Apologies for the interruption, folks. I seem to have misheard something. I could have almost sworn there were some citizens here planning on unearthing some valuables. Need I remind you all how threatening the ocean is outside this reef? I'd hope it would go without saying that the duty of such a dangerous excavation would fall to the Shellfish Corporation. That would be safest for all involved. Don't you agree? Yeah, we hear you, Roland. No, no problem. Then, as Shellfish Corp's CEO in this fair city's de facto mayor, I suppose no one would have any objections to my taking sole control of this treasure hunt. Are we all in agreement? Oh, oh dear. I, I suppose that sounds all right with me, I say. You hear what they're talking about over there? Sounds like some kind of crazy treasure hunt. Hey, kid. I just got an idea. If you can go get that treasure they're John about, I'll gladly trade your shell for it. For, for real? You'd really do that? You bet. A prawn never goes back on his promise. Aw, yeah! I'm gonna find that treasure! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go, kid! Roland can't tell us what to do! That treasure belongs to whoever can find it first! The corporations don't control us! I suppose a little friendly competition is only fair. I hope you know what you just dove into, kid. See you in the open ocean, treasure hunters. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. We're gonna have to fight this guy for sure, I think. Dang, that was crazy. With a capital Z. You really stepped in in it now, kid. That squid that hangs around Roland doesn't think twice about disappearing people. You told me to. Hey, I recall merely making a suggestion, pal. But the offer still stands. If you can get if you can get me that treasure. Shell's all yours. Okay, well, where do I start? Weren't you listening to that old dude? It's off the grove. Way it's off the grove way north of you. You got a bit of a walk ahead of you. Great. Well, I have no choice now. I'm on this treasure hunt, whether I like it or not. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you find any other junk out there, I'll take it off your hands for some microplastics. Fair is fair. Uh, we have some, actually. Let's sell it. Bum, 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 bum. Sell. 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 Nice. All right. You're in good shape, then. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, a real-life treasure hunt. This is the sort of thing you read about in books in the little crablet. A <laughs> little crablet. Do you think we'll fi fight a shark or a bobbit worm? 
or one of those horrendous monstrosities that live only in the deepest depths of the drain? I really hope not. Yeah, I think she's about to get wild. Okay. Things are things are kind of getting crazy now. Got a treasure hunt? Hell yeah. Let's do a level up. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? More MSG? Just over 150 there. Maybe we start working on attack a little bit now. Sub two. Sure. This looks good for now. Okay, the next thing I want to do is we need the shell port to the moon snail's domain. Because we're going to buy, we're going to augment. We're going to do some augmentation. And I think I know the one I'm going for. I would like to respec out of the other trees, to be honest, and just get that extra 10 back. And we can just go all in on the way of the hermit. This is the uh, this is where we're going. This section here, the way of the hermit. All right. Increase your MSG by 5. Become invisible for several seconds after your shell is broken. Attacking will end the effect early. I think we do this one. We don't have enough for that one. So yeah, let's let's just increase MSG by 5. Yeah. All right, we got that. And we only have two. Okay, now time to head north to the forest where our first little... Um, journey will partake, huh? So back to... Nukasini, and then upper crust. And let's go find that treasure. So we gotta get our shell back. Here we go. I think I have everything I I want from this city. We may come back later and do some more upgrading stuff. But as of right now, we don't have enough. Here we go. Bum 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 bum. That was weird. I just jumped down there. Think so. I would like to swap out shells though. This won't be good in combat besides like speeding up to him. The sands between. All right. Oh, he's dodging now. Oh, sh what the fuck? I hit both of them. Wait, I died? I just got one hit? What in the world? That dude must have did hella damage to me. Oh, now we don't have a shell. That's where the shell insurance comes into, huh? Uh, we should be able to grab it, though. Can I grab any others? Cover the junk. Here we go, we got sun. What does this one do? Problotic. Infuse your body with healthy nutrients, restoring health over time. That was not bad. We'll stick with it. It's a red solar cup though. I want to see what this says. Drunken Claw, a risky technique that increases attack for a brief time, but worsens your dodge roll and dulls your senses. Oh no, we go with this one. I couldn't dodge roll. I couldn't roll after I got hit once. I should have. Oh, I should have blocked. I should have blocked. It's been a, it's been a little bit since combat, you know. Gotta warm up a little bit here. But yeah, we should have. Uh, we should have blocked. We would have been fine. 
Let's try this again. So we'll grab the shell since it's up there. All right, this one gives me health over time. I don't want to pull that fish again. There we go. Stick with the healing over time. Oh, I got two on me. Shit. No, no, no. I popped the heal, but it didn't. Why didn't it go off? I don't know why I didn't go off right there. Like, I hit the button. Hmm. Probably my only, like, real complaint with this game is... The inputs just feel a little weird sometimes. I can't quite figure out what it is. That makes them feel just a little off. Go back up here and grab this shell. Should be able to get back to our stuff pretty easily here. Let's just let that guy walk by. Him. I don't want to pull both of them. Okay. We can actually avoid that guy. Same with him. Oh. All right. Well, that's not good. Shit. Roll that. What in the world? Oh my god. I, I I don't even know what I'm supposed to do right there. What what the fuck? Shit. Is is there not Damn man? Can we even fight that guy right now? Ah, uh, this is such a trek back to him though. There's gotta be a shell port nearby, right? So it'd be a, a snail shell somewhere nearby? Wait, what the fuck? He's back? No, I, I haven't even grabbed my, uh, my microplastics, man. Oh, okay, well, at least the good thing is it comes over here. Do we do? All right, he does three. Fuck. Let's eat. We have another shell, maybe. Need to find one. He ran away. How do you run away? Oh no. Shit, they're mad at me. He's back. Can I get to my can I get to my microplastics though? Was it like right here? I'm actually not too sure. Oh man, where did I die last time? Eat. Is 
he stuck up there? No way, I just get... I don't think I have enough to fight this guy. Man, I'm all the way back here again. Why, why do I feel like I'm missing something? What am I missing? Can I even do this? I don't even know if I can fight this, like, realistically. We go grab the pills up here. And he's back on us. Alright. I think we just need to avoid. We need to avoid. We need to run. We need to find... Another place, possibly. Okay. Hey, dog. Let's just keep avoiding him. What do we have up here? Oh, this is where I died last. Okay. So I, I, I like this shell. Give me fizzle. Keep running. We see the run. I didn't mean to go that way. Shit. Where do we go? Where do we go? I'm looking. I'm just gonna keep running. Okay, shit. What? Dude, I'm getting one shot by everything. I'm not gonna be able to get those white glasses back. Those are way too far. What's happening? Buy homes? Huh? Alright. Are these guys saying anything? Can I, like, can I get people to help me with that guy? What, what, what's going on? A lot of talk about the end of the world these days. It's only a matter of time before... Whatever's gunking up crabs, mines out there comes to gunk us up too. Or, you know, so they say. Y'all figure that stuff is really true? Who gives a shit? If my rent doesn't go down soon, the world can go ahead and end as far as I'm concerned. So true, brother. <laughs> All right. What is going on and why do I feel like I can't do anything? Chain of Grove, here we come. Whoa, 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 hold your seahorse, kiddo. Look, we're technically rivals in this treasure hunt thingamajig. But that don't mean I want to see you get devoured before my eyes. what I do wrong? Look, there's rules to explore in the sands between. Namely, steps you gotta take from preventing him from slurping you right out of your shell and eating you whole. See these arches? Folks who commute from here have done a pretty good job of scenting roots to the nearby areas. Scenting. Yep, laying down scents that he ain't a fan of. No matter how tasty you are, he won't pass near the path. Wait, who are we talking about? Who is this guy? Look, just stick to the arches, okay, kiddo? And if we get chased, make your way back to one as quick as you can. Can do. All right, okay, so that's, we should have talked to him early, I know. I just I wanted to get going and, and get some combat in and I skip these guys. Um, I should talk to them. That's my bad. So you're serious about this treasure hunt after all? Of course I am. This is my only way to get my shell back. Please don't take offense, but I have suspected you'd lose your nerve, I say. The sands between are no place for an innocent crab. Whatever, I'm super brave. Let's just get this over with so I can go home. Point me in the right direction. Oh, you might have what it takes. After all, child, such a willingness to run off and get killed in the name of discovery, it brings a tear to my eye, I say. Since you're new, new here, I'll give you an overview. To our north is the Enchanted Grove, once a reclusive village of spiritualists. East of here is Flotsam Vale, the company town of Shellfish Court. And west, I wouldn't go west without a good reason. 
Not that it matters. The captain's map has pointed us north towards the Enchanted Grove. Meet me there and we can discuss our next steps. Yes, sir. All right. We need to stay in the arches. However, I need a shell. So I'm going to go up here. This might pull them. Let's go back. Okay. The next arch is over there. So um, let's fight this guy if we can. Out of here, mister. All right, what do you, uh, what does this do? Summons retaliatory glass shards that last for as long as you continue to block. Let's do the passive healing. Take out this crab while we're at it. Come here. Got him. All right, we'll use the arches now. We should be okay. Shoot. Oh boy. Man, that guy hits. Bruh. I thought I dodged that. We got him. Can I grab this stuff? Oh, nope. I thought it was a, a trick. It was definitely, uh, it's definitely bait. That loot was bait. All right, we should be using our Q. Whew, we got him. Shell's about to die, so I'm just gonna pop the heels real quick. I'll pick up another shell in a second. Oh, we're full health. Um, let's go red solo. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get back to the arches. Run, run. Come on. Is there? All right, we're good. Oh no! Oh no! Go for red solo. I don't really want to pop this one. Let's, can we outrun these guys? Maybe. I don't think so. Actually, we took a couple of them off. It's just this guy. We can dodge them. They're pretty easy. All right, they're not too bad. The only thing scary about them is they do hella damage. Let me fight this one. I don't. I don't want to pull that one though. Oh, that's dangerous. That's a really good. No, that's a tennis ball. Can I pull this one out here real quick? Oh shit. Okay. This one I think we could probably just run past. Avoid them all together. Possibly. Maybe not. Let's get to a stop. The tornadoes. Wait, where's the next, uh... It's over there. I don't know what those things do. We got Fizzle, though. I love Fizzle. Alright, there's an arch there and an arch up here. We'd probably go for this one. There's some loot up here though. And a crystal. Alright, some junk that we can sell. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Um, I probably want to climb this. Definitely want to climb this. Give me that loot. Alright, we can see we got some more arches out that way. Can we make it to that? We can. Oh, a legendary. Oh! There you go, get out of here. Plankton. 19 MSG required. Consuming a heart pod regenerates a small amount of umami. Okay, but we need 19. All right, all right. That's a solid. That's a solid stowaway though, because we'll get to 19. What are we currently at? Oh, I think we actually have it. We do. Okay, let's put that on then. What do we want to get rid of? Plus two attack. Plus two MSG. Probably get rid of the plus two attack or MSG. I mean, we have a lot of it. Take that off. And then we can put on the plankton. Oh wait, this one costs three. Do I use this one? It's a small amount. Mm, I don't know if we do, guys. I'm gonna go with no for now. I don't think we do use that. Not cool. Why? We got a pop. I don't know how the other attacks didn't hit him. Okay, but we got something up here. Let me. Okay, so yeah, we've gotten that one before. We could use that too. Really stack up our. Get the shortcut. Let's get the shell for a save. Perfect. I'm glad we climbed this. Okay. All right. Wowee. This is the farthest I've ever been from home by a country fathom. Check it out. You can even see the grove from up here. This is going to be a swell adventure. I can already tell. This is, isn't it? That's a big fish. A lot of big fish. All right. Do we want to put on the other plus two MSG instead of this plus two attack? Really going for like big damage from our uh, umamis? I say we do it. Let's try it. Got a solid shell too. Okay. Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? I don't want to fall down that way. I'll be that way, right? Keep it moving that way. All right, we got a puffer fish and some crabs. This is where like, okay, how do we use the ability to pull them in? A weapon designed to reel and prey at long distance. It's combination with a sturdy piece of string. So to be strength, use the swing. For, okay, so we have both of them. How do we use them? Will it tell us? Heal, grapple, shell spell. Use adaptation, swap adaptation, swap hammer. Swap hammer? Would that be it? Um, I don't know. I'm not too sure how we would use the uh, fishing line. We could actually probably just pull him separately. Maybe just fight him. Ah, we'll just run. He's pretty slow. He's got a party hat though. I do you like party hats? 
So whatever, they're pretty slow. I'm just gonna pass them up. Probably fight this guy. Get out of here. We're coming alive, guys. We're coming alive. A tin can. Shell shock. Um, I like fizzle. That was our time to run right there. Go now. Okay, we pulled one. That's right. I see a uh, snail shell. So we're going to go after that. Thought we can grab some uh, some kelp there for heals. It's a big fork. Can I get this big fork? I want that big fork. Something's happened here. You again, Vagabond. I am pleased you survived. Whoa, I barely recognize you. You're the guard from Slactite, right? Nice hat. Indeed. Chaton is my name. However, I have shed my title. I was foolish to pledge my sword to a lord so easily swayed by greed. You understand, don't you? The consequences of the fall of Slactite? No one to guard the bridge? Far more serious, Vagabond. What annihilated Slactide was an infection. At first, I thought it, I thought it a pollution of the body. Now I suspect it sends from the mind. Regardless, I believe it was the Duchess's greed that invited it into her lance. And until those like her are annihilated, the infection will spread and spread and spread. For this purpose, I have arrived at this grove. Okay. It's like oil, the oil infection. This is definitely oil, isn't it? Pretty sure. Polluting the oceans makes sense, right? All right, well, we made it to the forest. Pretty sure, pretty sure it's the forest. Just keep it moving. Here we are. Oh, there was loot in there. Hold on, we're going back. Then this one. Barb tech. I don't know how to use those, so I need to figure out how to use those. Another shallow port location? And our friend here upgraded from the uh, little water cup to a succulent or cactus. Hey, look who it is. Honestly thought you might have died in the sands between, you know? N no way. I'm pretty strong. I like your confidence, pal. And at the very least, You've made it this far. But stuff's gonna get rougher from here, you know. The grove used to be a real chill village, full of lovable country bumpkins. Real salt of the sea types. But anyone who gets the paper knows what happened here by now. Just 10 or 20 tides ago, a bunch of them went totally nuts, foaming at the mouth saying all kinds of wild stuff. And wouldn't you know it, those crazy crabs up and killed all the rest of them. That's horrible. Ah. Don't lose too much sleep over it. Happens all the time these days. That seems really, really bad. Yeah, it's not great. But what can you do, you know? That's life and the sticks. I just count myself lucky for my cozy apartment in New Crescenta, where nothing like that ever happens. But here you are, out here. So if you like a life so much in the city, well, go back to the city. Know what I mean? Expired Grove. 
Now that's just sad. Tin can, what do we got here? Oh, shit. Maybe should have used it on that guy. Ouch. Where'd he go? There you are. I want a bow. Um. Yeah, I couldn't see. That was weird. That's all right. Then we were like right there. Keep it moving. Grab the tin can. Grab our stuff. Um, can we get this guy by himself real quick? Let's just pull him out here. Line of sight him so he's got to move towards us. Perfect. We're going. We're gonna pop. Pop. You. Probably should have opened with that, but we got him. Alright, there's another one just hiding somewhere in the sand here. There you are. Come this way. Okay. Wait for this guy to come here. Let's go for it now. Got him. Got another archer in there. Clear the back real quick. So we can just pull him back here and fight him back here. Is that a helmet? With bullet holes in it? No. No, this is just... Um, a strainer. I think. Shoot. Oh, no way. Oh, that actually goes through right there? That's crazy. Oh, we got him. Wait, can I hit these guys? Oh my god, I can. <laughs> oh, this is so cheese. That's the crystals, though. Yeah, we take it, though. We take it. I mean, there are little holes there. We could shove our little fork in there. Our fork, our fork fits. It fits. Okay. Is so what do I do with this? Is it my Q? No. I don't know. I don't know what those do. We'll probably figure that out later. All right, we have that guy over there. Another archer up top. All right, let's keep clearing over here first before we go there. Possibly. All right, hold on tight. All right, there's his shot. He, does, he doesn't hit it. Mm, shit. All right. Can I not make that? Hey, where'd he go? Wait, drop down? I mean, sure, dude. Hang out right there. Thanks for leaving the path wide open. There's loot down here. There's a crystal as well. Can we get up to that crystal? Go back around. There we go. Wait. Girls locked on from there.
Okay. This is where plunge attack would be uh, very, very nice. We make that though, right? Oh, yeah. No way. I didn't hear him pull his bow back. Fuck. Okay, well, shit. It's gonna be uh, a little difficult to get back there. We'll see what we can do. Okay. I don't wanna get those guys to kill this little crab here. Here. Get this one. He's still alive, fuck. Okay. We can avoid that guy, we can avoid him. Let's quickly go over here. Here's where we were, right? Um, no. This is not where we were. I can't leave. All right, well, shit, here we go. Lost all of our prior uh, souls, I believe, but we have a guy to fight. Wait, we got uh, this is just from those enemies I killed. All right, not a big deal. We didn't lose that much, I don't think. But uh, where was it? He's this way, right? Let's get him. Eat. I want to, I want to, is this fizzle? Beautiful. Take for the ad. Oh no. Damn, bro. That does so much damage. A little swing. We, we might have to put some points into vitality. We might have to start doing that. Or, I mean, obviously if I just use my shell, like I'm supposed to, things aren't too bad. But I'm, uh, I'm being rather dumb. No way. I'm just trying to kill the little crab there. We can get this guy. We can get him, though. Um, I just gotta use my shell. Get out of that. Uh, see, there's a slight issue with that ability, and that's that when you pop it, you can go back into him if you're running away. So I gotta turn my character and then pop it. It's a little annoying. I wish it would just be like where my camera's facing, like if I'm turning this way to it, not, but it's where my character is, so I gotta, gotta keep that in mind. I gotta keep that in mind. We gotta take care of these guys. Not get sucked in. I rolled into it. I rolled into it. 
should have rolled forward. Honestly, this won't be too bad because I pop my fizzles and as long as I prioritize the ads, we'll get our umami charges back and we can just keep fizzling them and we'll just fizzle them to death. That's my thought on it. We got out of it. Nice. Fizzle. 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 Each your own friend, no? No, we gotta roll. Yeah, we gotta eat and shit. I think we live this. But we need to instantly roll out. And eat. Okay. Kill him now. I, uh, I, I thought I had it. I thought I had a umami charge, so I went in the fizzle. And I knew that that would bounce me out, so we wouldn't get hit by that. But because I didn't have the fizzle, uh, we stayed there, and he was able to just kill us. So we need to be more aware of when we have our charges. I need to use my Q off rip, actually. I don't know why I'm not opening with that. Could have been bad. No, it went all after that guy. And we got hit by that shit. I want to get him to jump. Alright, the pop got us out of that. That was nice. No, I thought I rolled it. I honestly thought I was going to be able to roll that in time. But I was not. That went better, though. That went better. It's starting to get smoother. Alright, let's... Roll here, click, hit him with this. Dodge that, hit him again. Dodge that. Oh, wow, that goes to kill this guy. Okay. Doing all right. Nice. We do that. We can actually go after this. There we go. Wait, was there another cat? Okay, they're all dead, I think, right now. Dude, I did the same thing. I did the same exact thing where I thought I thought I had a charge. I thought I had to charge my fizzle and I didn't. Oh man, that was the run too. That was the run. Oh, we got this guy. 100% we got this guy. This is no problem now. This is no problem now. Man, that 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 hurts. That one hurts, I'm not gonna lie. That's fair. That's fair. That was what it was. Um, okay. I just want to read up. What does this do again? Subject enemies in front of you or with a massive swipe of dangerous Dungeness Crab's Claw, causing them to briefly take increased damage from all sources. Okay. Which, we want that for sure. 
That's better. Hit him now. Have a charge? I do not have a charge. No, I I hit him too. I hit it, but I was still in animation, so it did not put me in my shell. I need to be a lot more patient and watch out for those one-handed swipes. So it's the only way I die, to be honest. Everything else I got. Let's get him again. We got him. Just ignore him while he's like that. What'd I get hit by? He did his thing. I, I couldn't tell. Uh, maybe we just add straight into a fizzle. Like we did. Yeah. Maybe we add some vitality. That's big damage. I rolled back into it, but we're all right. Misses that. Thought I fizzled, but I did not. Killed us, but we're all right. Let's play smart, we're doing fine. Get away from that, get away from that. See? No, why is this one being so evasive? What just happened? Oh my god, we're alive though? Did he just eat his dude and heal? I feel like that's what happened. I think he did. We charge in, he's dead. Yes! We got him. We got him, baby. Whew. That was a fun little fight. I like that one. Chum, a small friendly fish willing to come to its companion's defense. 20 vitality required. Oh my god. That one's kind of nice though. I'm gonna run a bottle cap for now. Actually, there's another fizzle over here. 
Have we seen this one? Coffee pod. Morning buzz. A jolt from a warm beverage that increases attack speed for sure for a short duration. We don't care about attack speed though. We want damage. MSG damage. Another barb took. Okay. He's dead. That's great. Do we make that? Yeah. What just shot at us though? I don't know if I know. Wow. Ah. Oh, sh hold on. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. I don't want to die. If they see you talking to me, they're going to know I'm in the bush. Bushes don't talk. It's going to blow my cover. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Who's shooting at us? Oh, he's above. He's above us. Okay. That's another probiotic. Yeah. Heals over time. Um, give back fizzle. Okay. Um, oh, I see. Be a little safer and go down here. No. What? No way. I had it. I was right there. Wait, I spawned up here. That's good. Let's not hit at this time. Okay. Got some more junk. Perfect. Okay, save point. Beautiful. Let's save it real quick. Level up. Hmm, uh, we might want to start going into vitality now, huh? I'm starting to think so. Just 11 though? I mean... 55 health gives us five more health. Maybe. 212% more damage though. I like the damage. I'm gonna go with this. I don't know. Three shell damage prevention. That's a lot. That's a lot right there, too. That's big, though. That's a big jump. I mean, I guess not, right? It's a uh, seven. Seven percent more there. Same thing. Seven percent more there. This gives us only three percent more. Five health. Five health, huh? Hmm. Maybe we go with that. We're gonna do a vitality. We're gonna we're gonna take a point in vitality. Yeah! We actually we do have twenty five. We can go back to the. Snail's Domain. Looks like there's stuff to do at the upper crust now. There are some exclamation points. Might have to go check those out. All right. Let's augment our powers. This costs 40. Defeating an enemy with an umami based attack will restore an umami charge and temporarily boost your MSG. Or become invincible for several seconds after your shell is broken. Attacking will end the, er the effect early. 
we won't ever attack because if we lose our shell, we're going to try and find another shell. So having the invincibility would be nice. Let's put points into that. Okay. Looking good, looking good. All right, there's excavation points at the upper crust. So maybe we should go and talk to the people there. And lower crust. We'll see what's going on over here before we go back. Um, where does it want me? Right here. Remind me of where I'm going. As I said, first stop of your journey is the grove. Head out the city, keep traveling north, and you'll reach it eventually. Just take care to not get devoured, I say. Yeah, sounds good. Um, yeah, we talked to that guy already, though. Is there any somewhere else I'm supposed to be for that? I don't know. It wants us to go somewhere. It wants us to go somewhere here, but where? This guy, maybe? No? I'm not too sure where it wants us to go. Looking for any exclamation point or anything. Not seeing any though. Like I'm just gonna like not worry about it. Oh, crystals. Hold up. Got that loot up there too. Sand dollar. Vanishes on death prevents you from losing your microplastics. It's not bad. Um, I really don't know who it's want us to talk to. Like, I'm just gonna teleport back. Not too sure who we're supposed to talk to about those locations, but we're gonna go back to the grove. The entrance. Rainbow River? Is that where we were? I think so. Yes. Did we talk to him? This place is a mess. You're doing great though, pal. Not much further to go. How do you know? This really feels that way. Like victory is right around the corner, you know? Won't be long before I'm... That is to say, we're on one step closer to that legendary treasure. Yeah. Okay. Um... Which way do I want to go? This way, though? Junk. Trade for 2,500 microplastics? Dang. It's a lot of junk. No way. That umbrella's like a shield? That's badass. It's a crystal too. Uh, let's go over here. Barb took, huh? Another one. Can I get that loot? Okay. 
All right. Wait for that resistance to go down. Nice relaxing music here, huh? Um, I think we could probably just. Thousand microplastics. Oh my god. Oh wait, can we go under waterfalls? You know how waterfalls are. You know how waterfalls can be. Let's try it. Okay. What do you guys think? Do we go? I think we go. Okay, we got somewhere. Little red cup. Oh, snap. Another boss. All right, then. Let's do it. I thought I could dodge it. Okay, he does three hit four hits boom 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 and then an overhead okay okay got it what stowaways are we running msg msg and then plus four attack do we want to go without this maybe and then maybe we do Just plus two attack. So we get more MSG. I think so. All right, here we go. One, two, three. I think he was going to do four, like, skewers. So far, okay, four attacks each time. It seems. Oh, shit, we gotta get, we gotta run away and eat. We're losing some damage on him though, unfortunately. Oh, no way. All right. He's in the air for a little bit when that happens. We dodge when he goes in the air, not when he jumps. When he's at, like, at the top of his jump, the peak of his jump is when we got to roll. Not right when he jumps, which is what I did. He jumps up, finds you, and then lands on you. There we go, did that better? See? The four. He does four. It's like a long one, and then two fast ones, and then another long one. All right. That, that's a heavy hitter. We gotta we got avoid that at all costs. We lose our shell, I feel like, instantly. No, we miss it. It's all right, though. Here comes one, two, and then a long one. And then we can go in for attack. One, two, three, four. There's the overhead. Two. Oh, he jumps here? Okay, that's new. We, we jumped. Again, we we were just trying to roll away from the first one, and then he jumped up while we were halfway through our rolling. It was just bad. 
We'll figure them out, though. There we go. Let's not miss our cue this time. One. Fuck, ow. Roll now. One. Swap back hands. Get a couple of hits in. Ow. No, I rolled right into it, man. What's the what's the trick there? Cause he hmm, we gotta roll like the opposite way that we're running. Gotta roll back. Ah, uh, I think we can get him though. The only thing I'm wondering, I feel like maybe instead of popping fizzles so much, let's. All right, as soon as the overhead comes, going in. That's big damage, long one. He backs up right there though. Skewers, long one. Okay. Two, three, overhead. All right, roll out of that and eat. We could try Twister on him. Oh no, that's new. Damn. All right, I don't know if I don't know if saving for our Q is worth it. We, we it's kind of like. Kind of worth this right now unless we're spamming our attacks um yeah it kind of is because i'd rather just use fizzle i'm getting more damage i think out of it let's find out one two oh fuck here comes the overhead Close to this guy. I can't seem to get close to him. Yeah, 
Uh, I hate that one because I just, I hate the twister. We got him down a lot more health right there. I think we just use fizzles. We don't worry about the Q. Because I use the Q and then I like have like one fizzle and I feel like just popping four of them is so much better. Kind of hate that I have to start with the shell. Let's, uh, let's go back for the fizzle. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's, that's mad unfortunate. But at least I'll start with this one now. What? Dude, okay. No, 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 no. I don't agree with that at all. I was way outside of him. How does that hammer hit me? I don't agree with that at all. That's kind of whack. Oh, I don't have a shield. Alright, we start with this one then. What does this do? It risks the that increases attack for a brief time, but worsens your dodge roll and dulls your senses. Uh, let's... Let's... Try it. I don't know about that one. I like fizzle. Grab it. Ow. Man. I need the I, I need to take this like really slow, I think. Let's just go slow and steady. Can I get his back like that? Some more. Ow. Overhead. Eat. Fizzle. No, roll. Eat. No. The stagger bar was so high. Look. Okay. We need to hit his butt. We need to hit his butt. Fuck that shield. Why was I hitting the shield in the first place? Why take me that long to figure that out? Obviously, right? Obviously, don't hit the fucking shield. That was, a uh, bad timing by me. That was bad timing by me. I know he has four. I kind of forgot. I was trying to roll in behind him. Let's grab this real quick. Okay. Anything increased vitality would be kind of nice. Three of it. Yeah, I think it's worth it, guys. We can get rid of uh, get rid of two attack. We'll see how this goes for for a little bit. I want to be able to eat more.
I can't roll behind him at all right there. Okay, why can't I get behind him now? I can't get behind him. Overhead. Now we get behind him. And then he does the swing. Man, I got behind him so easy that one time. What was that about? Now I can't? Hmm. Show again. Was it because I was doing this? Easier to get behind him when I'm not targeted? Overhead? Ow. Pop. Eat. Are you behind him again? Fuck, I'm gonna lose the stagger. That's not good. Behind him, behind him. Stay, keep staying behind him here. All right, hold on. Pop. Pop. Overhead. Eat. Dodge it. Dodge it. Big heavy. He staggered. Big damn, big damn. Pop, pop, pop. 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 Get behind him here. Can't. No. Roll. Get a shell on. Wait for the red. Roll this, roll this, roll this. Pop him. Overhead and we get him, we get him, we get him. Yes! Let's go, boys. Whew. That one went good, that one went good. Fruit sticker. A piece of adhesive plastic often found attached to edible fruits increases microplastic rewards. Actually, it wouldn't be bad for um, using like when you're not in boss fights. Would not be bad at all. Okay. Whew. Got his ass. Where are we going now, baby? We're going back up there. All right. Let's go and put that other one on. Um. Oh, well, we're not boss fights, so we can just get. Yes, we can just get more stuff. I am with it. We got a lot of microplastics, though, and we got to kind of get back. I don't want to drop all these. Okay. And that guy up there, there's crystals up there though. I'll just do this. What if we just pop bubbles? Oh, it actually destroyed the crystals? Oh, that's crazy. Hell yeah. That's crazy. I like that. Um, I don't want to fight those guys. Too risky. On this way, let's grab this. Big money, big money. Stay away from us, mister.
Oh shit, someone's up top. I can't eat, I can't eat. Fuck. I saw the crystals, but I'm really weak. I can't eat anything. There's gotta be something up here, right? Oh no. This is not good, guys. Oh, fuck. What do we do? What do we do? What if we add three vitality now? No, that didn't work. I think I just actually just find a. I think I kind of fucked us. Wait, no, I didn't. It just looked smaller because we had more health. We still have the same amount of health then. Oh, this thing doesn't look nice, and I need. Uh, it's definitely not nice. It's gonna kill me. Let's, oh, we gotta find a way around it, I think, guys. Okay. Alright, we're up here. There it is. I see it. Let's go around him. Nice. We're good. Oh, you shouldn't bone me though? Touch it though? We need to instantly get in. Enter, enter. Woo! We're good, boys. We're good. Hell. Yes, we can level up as well. Um. That's another 7%. We're going to keep going with that. I think now that that's a 10, though, we could probably put another point in the health. Yahoo! Okay. Oh, that guy's mad at us. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, you made it, I say. I should say the same to you. Are your knees doing okay? Excuse me? I should bash your shell in. You little, I mean, indeed, I should say my knees are doing better than ever. I've always wished to visit the grove. There's important history buried here, I say. True, I wish to visit it in better times, but better late than ever. That's a positive way of looking at it. Do let me know if you care for a history lesson, lad. So we made it to the grove, huh? All right. Oh no, it's just the lighting, I think. Kind of look like there's a legendary up in that bottle, but it's just the lighting. Okay. We made it to the grove, which is perfect. But we will continue the rest of this journey in the next playthrough. I'm gonna end this one here, guys. So we are right now at the expired grove. We're in the oil drum. That's where we're at. And the captain there said that we made it to the grove. So I'd imagine this is the end of this expired grove location. We'll see probably another boss fight on the inside, I would imagine. But we will figure all that out in the next video. Thanks again for watching this one, guys. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. <gasps> Goodbye!